Hello, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com here looking at the Inno Pocket waterproof case for the iPhone 4. Now, I'm going to do a quick unbox and uh, we're actually going to check it out and attach it there to our iPhone. So, let's pull this out and there we go. So, removing the packaging, we just actually get the case itself. I'm going to just take it apart and we're going to put the iPhone in it and see how that all works. So first of all we have to just unscrew this back and we'll look at the components individually. So you've got the back cover, then there's this uh, sort of yellow grommet, actually is what uh, makes everything waterproof. Then there is this sort of silicon outer skin, there, that goes around the iPhone. And then finally there's a two-piece two-piece plastic case which offers the actual uh, protection to you know impacts and everything else. Inside there is also a user guide tells us how to actually attach it and obviously just the inlay to demonstrate it. So we'll take a look with the iPhone 4 and to actually attach it all. First of all we start with the back cover making sure to get the cover right so we've got cut out there for the camera and that just slots in like so. Okay, then we have the front cover, plastic cover, so that slots on bottom first, like so, and just clips in at the top. I think we've got that right. A little bit fiddly to actually get it in place, there we go. And that's all in place, so that uh, provides the protection from impact and shock and everything else. Now. I have to get the whole thing into this uh, rubber case, uh, which we do so by ramming it in. And it's quite a tight fit, obviously, it needs to be because it's going to be waterproof. So we just kind of pull all that together, neaten it up as best we can. Takes a little bit of fiddling with to actually kind of get it just right. But uh, there we go. Just kind of squeeze it on into place like so. Making sure that the button there at the top so that we can turn the iPhone on and off still like so. Now we need to put the rubber grommet back on, which uh, is actually easier. Actually, if we do it this way around, we'll actually push it into the recess around the back cover, like so. Here we go. We can keep making sure that it is all flat. That's pretty important. Now, the back cover then screws on in place. So it screws down, like so. So, obviously, that compresses the yellow grommet onto the back cover and onto the silicon portion there and we want to tighten that down really with a with a coin or something like that. In the corners you've actually got space that you can actually connect a lanyard so that you can actually wear it around your neck if you wanted to. Now particularly if you're going um, maybe snorkeling, I wouldn't say scuba diving because I'm not really sure what depth you know pocket uh, prepared to rate this to. But um, I think certainly if you're just sort of snorkeling or in the swimming pool, uh, then that would be fine. But then you can attach it with a lanyard around your neck so you don't actually drop it in the water because it's going to be pretty heavy um, with the iPhone and everything else. And in fact, it's got metal bits there. That's certainly going to sink if you drop it. Now, we can still use the phone. Capacitive screen still works. You'll notice that it's slightly, slightly cloudy, the actual case. But... Um, you know, it's it's going to offer the protection. We can still use all of the uh, you know the apps and everything else, and we can get into all of the uh, things there. We can get into photos and all that sort of stuff. I mean, the the capacitive touchscreen still works perfectly. If we look at the camera, oh, let's rebuild the library. Let's move that in the way. And get an idea. Again, because there was a slight cloudiness on the back. But it does work. Um, the image quality doesn't seem to be particularly effective. So, um, and it does just take a snap. 
So it works okay. As I say, um, not sure what uh, the actual rated depth is. Um, and I think it would be fine for snorkeling. However, if you're not going to use it for that purpose, perhaps you're um, maybe a builder or in a construction industry, or you work in or around water, dirty or messy environments, dusty, uh, dusty environments or anything like that, this might be a, a good option for you. If you really want to use the iPhone, and who wouldn't? It's, a, it's a, obviously a decent handset. And uh, you know, perhaps you perhaps you do want to use a, something that the iPhone, let's face it, isn't particularly rugged. So um, this might be a particular option. Um, I will try it in the water and give you the results. Uh, obviously you don't have any water lying around that I can uh, show, you, show you that with, but uh, I will actually try it with the water, in the water. Uh, and see how we get on, and also take some photos and see they actually how they ca they come out. So taking everything apart again, let's actually take it out, just in case of unscrewing the back, top and bottom. And reversing the process. And then taking the cover off. And then pulling the iPhone out, which is good to say, it's a tight fit, which is a good thing. And there we go, and then removing it all, so they got basically sort of four parts. So that is the Inno Pocket waterproof case for the iPhone 4. Uh, I have a short review for you over the next couple of days once I've actually you know, used it, and uh, used it in water, so I'll be able to give you some example photos of the iPhone taken in water, and some a few other bits and pieces. In the meantime, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash tracyandmatt or facebook.com slash tracyandmatt.co.uk. I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmatt.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.